Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to recreate the hands pictures by Jerry Allsman in Photoshop. Hello guys, this is going to be a really great tutorial. I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find me at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna recreate the famous hand pictures by the surrealist artist, Jerry Allsman. Now Jerry Allsman is famous for creating these surreal photographic effects in a darkroom, and we are going to do it in Photoshop. This is a really great technique, it's really good fun, it's great for students if you are studying Jerry Allsman as part of your project. Let's get straight into it. Okay, here we have the final image and this is what we're gonna go for, this kind of look here, it's trying to recreate the Jerry Allsman look. And we're gonna just use two of my own pictures here. Here's a picture of my hands and here's a picture that I took down in a place called Southend on Sea in Essex in England. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to turn both of the images black and white. That's really easy. You just go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And I'll just do the same thing on the other image here. Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And now I'm just gonna go back to the hands image here. And I just wanna give it a bit of contrast. So for that, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer. So to do that, you click your icon down here, which is your new adjustment layer icon. So I click on that and I go to curves. And I'm gonna put in a S curve, S shaped curve. So if you see that, it looks like an S. If I can pull down here and you can see it's getting really contrasty. And that is what we want, something like that. Just click the X at the top there. And now I'm gonna bring my sky image, my sky and boat image here over the hands image and you do that by selecting the move tool up here clicking and holding on the image dragging it up to the tab and not releasing the button pulling it down and now releasing the button and that is how you move one image on top of another so I'm just going to roughly place that in the center for now now I want to add some contrast to this layer to the sky layer so again I'm going to go down into my new uh, adjustment layer icon down the bottom and I'm going to put a curves adjustment layer on top of this one. Now I only want this curves adjustment to affect this layer and for that I need to clip it to it otherwise what an adjustment layer does is it affects every single layer underneath it and I only want this adjustment layer to affect this layer here my skies layer. So to do that, you right click and you go to create clipping mask. And then that is only gonna affect the sky layer, which is what I want. So I'm gonna put a nice S curve in it again, like this. Okay, that's great. I'm just gonna close this down by clicking the X. Now I'm gonna select the sky layer again here, and I'm gonna change its blend mode to darken like that. And what that does is it allows everything that's darker underneath, i.e. the black in the background, to shine through. And now I'm gonna select my move tool, which is at the top here, make sure that's selected. And I'm gonna move this into place somewhere where I like it a bit better. I'm gonna put it there so that we can see the boat a bit better in the hand. So I just want to take this opportunity before we move on um, to tell you that at the schooloffotography.com we have a range of online courses to help you improve your photography and your Photoshop and we've got loads of free stuff on there for you as well. So come and visit us at the schooloffotography.com and we also really would appreciate your support for our channel and you do that just by liking the video, sharing it with your friends and subscribing. It really helps us out and it enables us to bring you more free tutorials. So if you could do that for us, I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, let's get back in to creating these hands pictures. Okay, now we're back in Photoshop. 
I'm gonna now add a layer mask to this sky layer and I'm gonna blend all around the edges. So you click the add layer mask icon down the bottom here. And with a layer mask, if you add black to a layer mask, it makes it invisible. And if you add white to the layer mask, it makes it visible. So as you can see there, the mask is totally white. And that means that we can see the whole of the sky image. I'm going to select the paintbrush tool over here. Just the normal brush tool. Down the bottom here, I'm going to make sure that it's black. Up the top here, I'm going to take my hardness down to zero. So it's a nice soft brush. And then my opacity, I'm going to take down to around about 40% like that. Then you can use your bracket keys to make your brush smaller or bigger. So I'm just going to make mine a little bit smaller like this. And I'm going to brush with black paint around the edge. And as you can see, it's starting to make the sky layer invisible. And that's what a mask does. So to recreate the Jerry Osman look, this is exactly what he did, but he did it in the dark room. So what you had was the fingers showing around the outside and in the middle of the hand, you'd you would have an image. And that's exactly what we've got here, but we're doing it in Photoshop. OK, so that looks quite good like that. Now what you can do is because I've got two curves adjustment layers down here, one is affecting the background or the hands and one is only affecting the sky. I can adjust them separately to get the effect that I want. So I'm going to first of all start with the sky layer here. Double click on this part of the layer, that circle part, and then I can adjust the curves. Now, I really want them to, that sky to be quite dark, I think, yeah, like that. Really dark like that, good. Now, what you can see is also darkened up the boat, which I don't want, so I'm just gonna close that down and because I'm on a mask here, what I can do is actually blend it out so that the boat, the curves adjustment layer is not affecting the boat as much as it is the sky. Now I'm going to do that in a really easy way. I'm just going to use a gradient tool. I'm going to select my gradient tool. Up the top here, I'm just going to select black to white like that for foreground to background and just make sure that you've got black and white selected in your foreground and background here. If it's not, quite simply you click this button here and it gives you black and white again and then I'm going to put a gradient of black to white over this curves adjustment and what that will do is let's just do it it will make the bottom lighter and keep the top darker I'm going to do that a little bit more because I want that boat to be asked better like that good now if you see over here what you can see is the bottom of the adjustment layer is black and the top is white. And what that's actually doing is it's making the white part visible and the black part is not visible, which means it's natural to what's below it. So if I hide that curves layer, you can see that it's just affecting the sky. Now let's see if we can adjust the background, see if that helps. So I'm gonna double click on this curves adjustment layer and I think maybe, yes, yeah, something like that. That's quite good like that. And there you go. That's it. That's a Jerry Allsman effect using Photoshop. Okay, that's it, guys. Really, really fun thing to do, and I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to support our channel by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing. And don't forget to check us out at theschooloffphotography.com where we have a range of online courses to help you out. Also, come and join us on Facebook or Instagram. We've got a really wonderful uh, social media presence and there's loads of people learning photography on there just like you. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.